Hey y'all, it's me, your girl Brianna Nakai. I'm here today with another video. Today is going to be an unboxing video. I recently purchased some new studio lights for my YouTube setup. Currently, right now, I'm using Mount Dog box lights. Those lights were really good to start me off on my channel. However, I really don't like the fact that the lights aren't capable of doing the things that I really would like for it to do. So I did go out and I purchased, well I didn't go anywhere, I virtually purchased um, some new studio lights. They're the GVM, the Great Video Maker Panel RGB 1000D lights. Um, and today you guys are just going to be with me while I unbox the lights today. The original shipping box that the lights came in, I did go ahead and open the box, but I didn't open the kit of the lights. So that's what you guys are going to be unboxing with me today. So stay tuned to see me unbox my new studio panel lights. So this uh, is the box. This is the GVM case. And this case is honestly really nice quality. It is super heavy. So if you are not able to lift this kit, I advise you to get some help in lifting the kit. The kit, I would say, weighed probably about like 50 pounds. Um, like I said, it's not the lightest thing, but it's definitely a nice case for this, for, for these lights. So on the front of the case, it has a sticker where you can um, basically scan the QR code and basically upload the app that will control the lights through your phone or tablet or however you want to be able to control the lights. You are able to do that by just scanning the QR code and uploading the app. So this case has two zipper compartments. This is the first zipper compartment and this is the second zipper compartment. So the panel lights come inside of their own little sleeve pouch. Um, the sleeve pouch is really good quality. It looks like it's velvet quality. It has this little drawstring so you can just pull and tighten the lip of the pouch. So that's really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the panel lights from its pouch. Wow, it's pretty tight in there. That's what she said. <laughs> But it's pretty tight in there, honestly. I'm just gonna leave that in there. Hmm, so this is the first light that we have out here, y'all. So I'm gonna open it. It has like the barn door panels to it. It has GVM. The barn door panels feel kind of like plastic. Um, so if you are rough with any of your equipment, definitely be careful with these because it feels like they can just break off pretty easily. But this is the first light, I'm so excited. It's actually much smaller than what I anticipated. I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger than that because I ordered the 1000D RGB panel light. So I thought it was gonna be bigger, but it's pretty small. I am five foot even and compared to my hands, as you can see, there is some, obviously some white area around my hand. So it's not as big as my hand, but I'm just kind of like doing that to show you guys the size of the panel. Um, it does have a diffuser sliding um, shield in front of the RGB bulbs, so that's nice. I'm going to go ahead and close this up for now and unpack the other one. So this is the second light. So if I hadn't told you guys yet, I ordered the three kit. So it comes with three panel RGB lights. So, same thing, it's really nice, another light. And on the back of the light, it has a screen, it has buttons, and it also has some knobs on where you can control the actual light. And then it also has an area where you can place a external battery to the light, so that way you don't have to use a cord attachment, you can just use a battery pack. Um, you have to use two battery packs for each light if you want to go without a cord. But because this, this is going to be my in-home studio setup, obviously I'm going to be using a cord. It's perfectly fine with me. So that's two lights and I still have one more. All right. 
So for this compartment, it looks like it has the remaining items for the lights. So first off, it has the third light and it has a box. The box also says GBM. And inside of this box are the three power cords for the lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. All right, and at the very, very bottom of the bag, it has the stands. And the stands are in a plastic bag, as well as inside of its own velvet pouch. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the stands out of the pouch and go from there. I'm going to have to set everything on the table because this box is like wanting to fall and I don't have enough counter space. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. All right, so enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and get everything situated so I can get my light set up. Let's go. All right, y'all, so now that I have everything out of the box and out of its sleeves and covers and plastic, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble my studio RGB panel lights and show you guys how easy it can be assembled. Child, please. Hey, that's one of them like, child, please. Child, please. You know what child, please means. So let's go ahead with that process. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the stand. I said this was gonna be an easy process, but here I am already struggling. Like, where did they do that? Obviously here. Ah. All right, so I lied, y'all. It's not as easy as it looks. Okay, so. Okay, so that's all the way down and there's like a little toggle that you can just turn and twist to lock it in place. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit this on the floor in front of me and raise it so you guys can see. So at the top of the stand, it has like a little point where you just kind of like take the RGB panel light and it has like this stand insert and you just slide it on top. And then just secure it in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the cord attachment and plug this in. I'm so excited that I have new studio lights. So if I spin this around, this is the backside of the panel and it has kind of like a little hole right here where you insert the battery adapter to the light. All right, y'all, so I got one light down. I got two more to go, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to speed this part up in the video because once you see one, you have seen the other two um, as far as it's set up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just speed through that, okay? So 
So now that I have all the lights situated and plugged in into their battery adapters, I'm gonna go ahead and cut on each light, but I'm just gonna cut this light on by itself on screen so I can kind of try to set everything up the way that I want it or the way that I can get close to what I want because obviously it's gonna take some adjusting to get my videos to be exactly the way that I want it to look. So I went ahead and cut the light on and I'm going to open up its barn doors. As you can see, my background is already lit. I mean, it was lit before I got these lights, but you know, now it's even more lit, so. Going now. <laughs> Thanks, James. <laughs> that, that look says it all. <laughs> Let me stop playing around. So now that I have that set up, I'm gonna go ahead and download the app and connect to these lights. So let me open up my camera. So when I opened up my camera and shined my camera over the QR code, um, I got a notification on my phone that basically asked me or inquired if I wanted to download the app for the lights. So I'm just following the prompts right now and downloading the app right now. And the app is absolutely free. So you don't have to pay anything to get the app. It is downloading to my phone. Yes. Would you like to use Bluetooth? Bluetooth permission is required to connect to the device. Okay. Mm. So maybe I'm supposed to place it on app. Okay, so the moment that I placed it on app, it popped up to connect. So I'm going to connect it through the app. This is pretty cool. So, I'm not sure. Right now I'm making adjustments to it. I can see it in the camera. So right now I'm doing a warm setting and I'm turning it back to cool. And it's on a cool setting right now. It's pretty nice. So cool. And I can control the brightness. So right now it's like zero. It's pretty much like off. Yeah, it's off right now. And now, now it's lit, it's lit. <laughs> so let me see if I can do like the color. Ooh, did y'all see that? So in the app, like you can control the color as well. So you can change it to different colors. This is so dope. That's nice. And it was so easy to connect and you could change like the hue of the colors. You could change the brightness, the saturation of the color. As you can see. And you can do different scenes. Like you can do like a TV effect probably can't really see that, but it's doing a TV effect right now. It's doing a candle effect. A bad bulb. Then this is disco. Hey, how you doing, little <laughs> This is so cool. Cop car. doing my own sound effects, <laughs> y'all. And this is lightning. So this is, this is pretty nice. Paparazzi. Ugh. No pictures, please. No pictures, please. $5. No pictures, though. No pictures, please. <laughs> okay. And then you can create like some custom scenes. 
So let me go ahead and turn this off. And now I'm back to the RGB lighting. This is so cool. Like I love the fact that I can literally sit down and control each of my lights just off of my phone. Like that is definitely a nice feature. And that beats having to get up every single time I want to make any type of adjustments to my lighting setup. So that is pretty neat. So I'm gonna go ahead and situate my lighting setup and get it to be exactly where and how I want it. And then I'll come back to you guys and show you guys my official three-point lighting setup with my new studio panel RGB lights, 1000D from great video maker, GBM to be exact. And if you're still watching this video and if you made it this far in this video, like I said, obviously you like the content, so go ahead and just subscribe. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to my channel. Don't just be a window shopper, okay? Go ahead and buy the product. Go ahead and just subscribe to my channel because it's free. It's free. So go ahead and do that. Support me so I can create more videos just like this one. All right, y'all. So I finally did some configurations with my new YouTube lighting setup. And so far, I actually really like how things are looking right now. Obviously, I'm going to do my best to get it to be completely perfect and how I really want it to look. But this is pretty much the basic of how I want my YouTube setting to look like. The lights are honestly super bright. Like, they're really bright. Um, I can obviously still see my camera, but the lights are right here and it's blinding me a little bit. I'm not going to lie, they're super bright. Much brighter than my Mount Dog softbox lights. However, I might have to do maybe like a double diffused setup with these lights to kind of like soften the glow because right now it's I need glasses to record this video and after just looking into the light for just that split second, I honestly can't even see the lens. Like all I can see is light. Like y'all know that moment when you like stare into the sun for too long and then you try to look at something else, you can still see the sun. That, yeah, that's, that's what's happening right now with me with these lights. But at the end of the day, I'm so happy with the purchase. I love how compact it is. My box lights are so big, they just get in the way no matter what I do. Now, I'm not the type of person where I need to tear down and set up my setup each time I record. My setup is stationary, like it stays the same. It doesn't change whether I'm recording or not. My room is the way that it is. So I love the fact that I can maneuver around these panel lights and it still gives me a lot of room to do the things that I need to do. So I'm really happy about the purchase. I purchased these lights through B&H Photo. And like I said, I got the, the set of three 1000D lights. I'll tag or I'll insert the amount that I paid for these lights in the video or down below in the description box. So make sure you check that out. And I just wanna say thank you guys for watching this video. This concludes my video with the three light studio panel RGB 1000D GBM setup. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on these lightings. Let me know if you have the lighting or if you want the lighting. Just let me know. So thank y'all and stay tuned for my next video. Much love to you. Bye.